And you, Ephesians 4.24, talking to Israel, believer, you put on the renewed man who was created according to Elohim in righteousness and set partners. Put on the new man. Put on the new man. What new man? A new man is being continually changed all the days of his life. Do you understand what salvation is? It is the beginning of a process of change that never ends. I'll say that again. Salvation is not an end in itself. It is the beginning of a process that, of change that never, ever ends. The areas that you think you can never be delivered of, depression, whatever it is, anxiety, concern, worry, those are the areas that are about to fall next. If you stay with the program, it's a proven, time-tested, kosher program. Amen. job of Satan is to pull you away from the family, to pull you away from the things of Yahweh, uh -huh. to isolate you. Revelation 21.5. Apocalypsus. 21.5. I'm talking to you children of Yahweh. Renewed covenant of Israel. This message is for you. Now you know what to do on Tuesday night. Yes, it'll be boring on Wednesday. So what? It's better to be bored and make Yahweh and have Yahweh pleased with you than to be busy and have Yahweh displeased. Amen. That's right. Revelation 21 5. Listen, he who sits on the throne, who's that? Yeshua, Yahweh. He who sits on the throne says, Look, I make all things. No. He said to me, but I'm not sure that these words are true, so pray about it. No. No, no, no. Is that what it says? No. Yahweh said, these words have authority. These words are true. These words are trustworthy. I'll make everything new. Here's the beauty of walking with Yahweh. He didn't tell you when he'd make it new. I will wait 30 years, 40 years, 60 years. Are you willing to be healed on the other side of glory? Yahweh said, I will heal you one way or another. You're limited to this side of glory. I can work on both sides of glory. I will make all things new. And not only that, it's not Rabbi Moshe saying it. It is Yahweh, the one who says, these words are mine. Therefore, they are true and they are trustworthy. Don't leave me ever, Yahweh. Are you with me? And I, I believe that with all my heart. Yes. I believe that with all my heart. Me too. I believe that with all my yes. soul. Too. I believe that with all my mind. Yes. Hear, O Israel, Shema Yisrael, Yahweh Elohim, Yahweh Echad. I believe with all my heart, soul, mind, and spirit. I believe that there's not one area in my life, in your life, in our life, that's displeasing to Yahweh that will not be addressed. Because we are the heirs of change. Amen. Change is, is the inheritance of the blood-washed, Torah-keeping, remnant, redeemed community of Israel. It does not belong to the same, to those who are in darkness. They have no possibility of change. And if they have no possibility of divine change, they are left with the errors and the pitfalls of self-delusion. And if you don't think they're deluded, see how many of those New Year's resolutions last more than 30 days. Are you with me? How about 30 minutes? He who sits on the throne, how many know Yeshua is not falling off the throne? How many know Yeshua is not Humpty Dumpty? How many know Yeshua is not going to have an accident? <laughs> how many know Yeshua is going to be on the throne today, yesterday, yay, even forever? And the day Yeshua falls off his throne is the day that you'll stop changing. But as long as Yeshua is on his throne, he will keep changing you. Who needs resolutions when Yahweh has already resoluted to completely give you a makeover? Makeover. Hallelujah. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Glory to the king. For the king is in the house today. The king is on his throne today. It is a throne that is immovable and shakeable and has a short foundation. For no other foundation can any man lay than that which is laid, which is Messiah Yeshua. For the foundation of the Shlichim and the Nevi'im is Mashiach, the cornerstone. Yeshua himself being the chief cornerstone. The day Yeshua falls off his throne is the day that Yahweh wants you to start making New Year's resolutions. That will never happen. That will never happen. That's right. 
because I'll never make a reservation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we need to fill up the tank. <laughs> I drink, you eat. That's a good deal. Hallelujah. Oh, Thank you, Allah. Revelation 2.17. Final quote. No. No. <laughs> Revelation 2.17. See, we've been looking for change in all the wrong places. I promise you, child of Yahweh, listen. The key to being a minister, the key to affecting change in other people's lives, the key to, to changing yourself is stay with the program. There's no secret formula. Stay with the program. There's no overnight success in the kingdom. In Hollywood, yeah. They succeed overnight and they fall overnight. I'm telling you, stay with the Torah program and the blood of Yeshua until you die. Do not shake, do not be moved, <laughs> for soon everything that can be shaken will be shaken. Only that which cannot be shaken will remain. Revelation 2.17. <coughs> and I love this. He who has an ear, see? You got to have an ear for this stuff. He who has an ear, let him hear what the, what the Ruach says. To the Kihilot. To him who is Israel, overcome Israel. To him who is Israel, I will give some of the hidden manna to eat. Ruben just said that. I will give some of the hidden manna to eat. And I will give him a white stone. Because you know Yeshua is the great stone. It's pure, pure. And on the stone, a new name. Written which no one knows except him who receives it. Here is your diploma. People say, what the heck is this? Yahweh wants me to have stones, adopt stones, buy stones. I have stones, I have kidney stones, but I need another stone. Come on, some, don't be religious now. Some of y'all read this for 20 years and can't figure out what, what's, what Yahweh is saying. I already have stones, why do I need more? Now watch this. This stone is the graduation or the certificate of, of success that no one knows except he, he who receives it. And the one who receives the stone is the overcomer. Meaning they don't, listen, you know what an overcomer is? We close with this. You know what an overcomer is? This is too good. No, 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 no. You know what an overcomer is? He that has been so thoroughly changed by the Father that there is no other areas to be changed. Hallelujah. You think about what I'm telling you. Every area has been changed. There are no other areas for Yahweh to work. He gives you your diploma, that white stone with a new name on it, Israel. You know why? There's no more areas for Yahweh. You have overcome everything in your life, not by might, not by power, but by... My Ruach, Amen. says Yahweh. We are Israel. Father, we thank you. Father Yahweh, we thank you. For that incredible white stone promise. <laughs> Father, that white stone where we are like you, white, pure, no change needed. And Father, we know if there's no change needed, we will be like you. First Yohanan 3, 2. It does not yet appear, brother, what we shall be. For we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him. For we will see him as he is. Meaning, Yeshua and us will be like each other. So it does not yet appear what we shall be. But when he appears, then we'll be like him. We'll be like him with no fault, no error, every area. For you said you would make all things new. In your word, Yahweh. In Revelation 21, 5. 